हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम 2011 क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड इट वाज फॉर टू मार्क्स दिस इज अ कंबाइंड डेटा फॉर टू क्वेश्चंस हियर वी कैन यू कैन सी ईच क्वेश्चन ईच क्वेश्चन इज फॉर टू मार्क्स हियर नाउ लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन कॉमन डेटा फर्स्ट द टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर ऑफ एयर इन अ लार्ज रिजर्वर आर फोर हंड्रेड केलविन एंड थ्री बार रिस्पेक्टिवली द a converging diverging nozzle at of exit r 0.005 meter square this is the area of exit of the converging divergent nozzle is fitted to the wall of the reservoir as shown in the figure the static pressure of air at exit section for isentropic flow here isentropic flow through the nozzle is 50 kilopascal and the characteristic characteristic gas constant and ratio of specific heats of air are point point two eight seven kilojoule per kg kelvin and one point four respectively. Here this is R hour and this is here gamma. So here friends, let's see uh, the diagram first. Here this is the entry. This is inlet. and this is exit here nozzle inlet and nozzle exit and here at the inlet we have here t1 is equal to uh, as in as in the question i am writing the given data t1 is 400 kelvin we have and uh, p1 we have here i am writing here p1 you can see p1 is we have 3 bar that is 3 into 10 raise 5 pascal okay now here we have area of exit area that is ae is 0.005 meter square and we have here exit pressure that is here p2 is p2 is we have 50 kilo pascal 50 kilo pascal here Uh, this uh, pascal is converted into p1 is uh, it here p1 is we have 3 bar which is equal to 3 into 10 raise 5 pascal which is equal to 300 kilo pascal okay p1 p1 now uh, all the given data we have written here now let's move to the question number 1 here friends we uh, question is this is question number 1 the density of air in kg per meter cube at the nozzle exit is and these are the options we have to find here a density of air at the nozzle exit that is here that is here we have to find uh, rho 2 is equal to what in this question okay uh, now let's move to the solution for this question so friends here as we know this is the isentropic flow process so for question number 1 question for question 1 we have this is isentropic process so isentropic process uh isentropic process so here density density of air at nozzle exit nozzle exit is given as here p2 upon rho 2 raise gamma is equal to p1 upon rho 1 raise gamma okay now rearrange this equation here the um, we have to find rho 2 here so here rho 2 raise gamma upon rho 1 raise gamma is equal to rho 2 upon rho 1 whole raise gamma is equal to we have p2 upon p1 and this equation can be written as now here rho 2 is equal to p2 upon p1 raise 1 upon gamma when we shift this raise value uh to the right hand side it becomes 1 upon gamma 1 upon gamma so here rho 2 is equal to p2 upon p1 raise 1 upon gamma into 
into we have uh, one will go towards this side so now friends uh, we will simplify this equation so p2 upon p1 p1 and p2 we have and also we have gamma so and uh, rho 1 we can calculate as uh, here let's see first see here friends for rho 1 how to calculate rho 1 so here friends we will apply the um, ideal gas equation so pv is equal to mrt okay now this we will go here p is equal to m upon v is equal to rt so p is equal to rho r t so rho is equal to p upon r t so now here friends see here this rho this rho 1 will become here p1 upon r t1 so now friends let's put the values in the equation so rho 2 is equal to here rho 2 is equal to p p2 upon p1 we have p2 value here as p2 is 50 kilopascal p1 is 300 kilopascal so let's put the value p2 is 50 divided by 300 raised to 1 upon gamma is, gamma is 1.4 into p1 we have here which is equal to we have to we need to write this p1 in pascal so pascal we have to write this p1 in pascal so p1 in pascal we have p1 is 3 bar so 3 into 10 raised 5 is pascal and r we have to write we have in uh, kilojoule sorry uh, yes yes we have uh, r is 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin so we have to convert it into joule per kg kelvin so it becomes 287 into t1 we have here uh, 400 kelvin 400 kelvin now friends after calculating these values see, after calculating this equation we got we will get the rho 2 is equal to 0 0.727 kg per meter cube so here rho 2 is equal to this one this is our answer so in the question here this is question number one and the answer for this question that is density of air is 0.727 kg per meter cube that is answer option c is correct for this question number one now friends let's move to the question number two this one uh, here uh, the mass flow rate of air through the nozzle in kg per second is so here friends we have to calculate mass flow rate that is m here we have to find in this equation in this qu particular question and these are the options so here friends for question number two question number four two here mass flow rate of through the nozzle friends mass flow rate through the nozzle is constant throughout the nozzle section at the egg uh, that is mass flow rate through the nozzle is equal to mass entering the nozzle and mass leaving the nozzle so here friends uh, uh, mass flow rate m is equal to rho 1 a 1 v 1 is equal to rho 2 v a2 okay the, this is entering mass which is this here this is inlet mass entering and this is exit mass and this is mass flow rate rate so this is the equation we we mostly this equation is mostly useful for us for to to find out the uh, mass flow rate through the nozzle here this is because friends here we have two values that is we have rho 
रो टू वी हैव एंड ए टू वी हैव ओनली वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट हियर वी टू वी टू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल गेट द एम ओके नाउ फ्रेंड्स हियर वी विल अप्लाई द स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन सो हियर फ्रेंड्स स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन सो हियर फ्रेंड्स वी हैव स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी एच वन प्लस वी वन स्क्वेयर अपॉन टू प्लस जेड वन प्लस क्यू इज इक्वल टू एच टू प्लस वी टू स्क्वेयर अपॉन टू प्लस झेड टू प्लस डब्ल्यू एंड हियर फ्रेंड्स दिस एग्जिट एरिया ए टू ए टू इज इक्वल टू ए एज वी हैव रिटर्न हियर एग्जिट एरिया एज ए विच इज इक्वल टू ए टू इन दिस केस ओके नाउ हियर फ्रेंड्स एज वी नो Uh, velocity at the inlet is uh, is negligible so uh, here v1 is equal to 0 and there is no elevation 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 so z1 is equal to z2 is equal to 0 and uh, it is isentropic process that is the no nozzle is uh, adiabatic that is it will be the insulated so here q is equal to 0 and there is no work done by the nozzle so w is also equal to 0 so here friends this term will get cancel this get cancel this one this one this one so we left only with now h1 is equal to h2 uh, plus v2 square upon 2 this equation we can write as here h1 minus h2 is equal to v2 square upon 2 and here friends h2 h1 minus h2 is given as here h1 minus h2 is given as cp into bracket t1 minus t2 okay which is equal to v2 square upon 2 and here friends cp is given as cp that is cp for air is assume we can assume uh, cp for air is 1 0 Zero eight, okay. One zero zero eight joule per kg Kelvin, okay. So now here, friends, see from this equation, one zero zero eight into T one minus T two. We have T one four hundred Kelvin, and T two. We are need T two. We need to find out here, friends. T two. And which is equal to v two square upon two, v two square upon two. So here, friends. So here, friends. Now we need to calculate t two. Also, we need to calculate. After that, we will get the v two. So here, friends, to get to calculate the t two, we will use the. Uh, Uh, isentropic uh, equation. So this, as we know, this is isentropic process. So here, T two upon T one is equal to P two upon P one raise gamma minus one upon gamma. This is the relation for isentropic process. So, friends, now let's put the value. We have to T uh, two, and here T one is we have. 400 kelvin is equal to p2 upon p1 p2 we have p2 is 50 and uh, p1 is uh, uh, p1 is 300 kilopascal gamma minus 1 that is uh, 1.4 minus 1 that is 0.4 and in here it is 1.4 so now after calculating this equation we will get t2 is equal to 239.73 kelvin this is t2 this is t2 okay now friends we will put this t2 value in this equation this in this equation so here friends see 
mm, this equation becomes uh, this here this equation now becomes uh, after putting this value in the equation here 1 0 0 8 into 1 0 0 8 into 400 which is 400 400 minus t2 is 2 3 9.73 3 73 and uh, this 2 will come here and we will take the square root of the answer so here friends uh, into 2 and here it is v2 we, we will take the square root of this one after solving this equation we will get the answer v2 is equal to that is velocity at the exit we will get 5 six seven point five seven meter per second okay this is our v2 so now here friends we have all the values to find the mass that is we have wrote v row 2 v2 and a2 so friends see here in the equation here see here m is equal to now m is equal to row 2 a2 and v2 so m is equal to let's put the value we have all the values here row 2 we have calculated here this one that is 0 0.727 so here 0 0.727 into a2 we have in the question which is 0 0.005 so 0 0.005 into a2 v2 we have find out recently which is equal to 57 567.57 so let's write it 567.57 so friends after solving this equation we will get m is equal to we will get 2.06 2.06 kg per second okay this is our answer friends m is equal to 2.06 kg per second so here in the question uh, the mass flow rate of air through the nozzle is 2.06 kg per second that is option d this is the correct answer Thank you friends for watching this video, like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.